All right, guys, so in this problem here, we have one tenth kilogram of gas in a piston cylinder assembly undergoing a Carnot power cycle. We're told that we have isothermal expansion at 800 Kelvin. We have isothermal compression at 400 Kelvin. And we have the change in specific entropy at negative 25 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin during that isothermal compression. We're asked to find the network in kilojoules as well as the thermal efficiency. So just as a refresher, I outlined the different processes of a power or a Carnot power cycle. So for process one to two, we have adiabatic compression. So in, essentially we're increasing in pressure here and we're decreasing in volume. This is a PV diagram on the left and we have no introduction of heat transfer. And then in terms of temperature and entropy, so I have a TS diagram here, we have a constant change in entropy. So S2 equals S1, but we do have a increase in temperature from 400 Kelvin to 800 Kelvin in this case. And also, again, we have no heat transfer. Process two to three is isothermic expansion or isothermal expansion. So we do have heat transfer coming in from process two to three, and now we're at our T hot and T2 does equal T3, it is isothermal. And we're going to have a slight reduction in pressure and an increase in volume as it is expansion. Now process three to four is adiabatic expansion. So once again, we do have no heat transfer and we're gonna be decreasing in temperature. So from um, T3 or T hot to T4, which is also TC, T cold. Also entropy is conserved. So we have T3 equal to T4. And last but not least, we have our process four to one, which is isothermal compression. So if we're compressing, we're going to be increasing in pressure and decreasing in volume. And this is where we're gonna reject heat QC out of the system. Again, we're rejecting it out of the system and, and T4 is going to be equal to T1. And we are in fact going to have a change in specific entropy here. In fact, the problem states that during the isothermal compression, which is going to be four to one, we have a change in, in, in specific entropy of negative 25 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Just so you know which process had this change in entropy, it is process four to one. Which, by the way, this should be S1 minus S4, so let me correct that. So now to find the cycle work or the network, we'll just have that the network W net is equal to Q hot minus Q cold. So now in order to find these heat transfers, we'll start with Q hot, QH. We'll have that QH equals T hot, or the hot high temperature, times the difference in S3 minus S2. Now we're using S3 minus S2 because entropy transfer accompanies heat transfer. So if we're looking for Q hot, that means that we're going to be using S3 and S2. And likewise, when we find uh, QC, we're going to be using Q4 and, uh, or sorry, S4 and S1. So now if we just plug in what we have, we'll have that QH equals TH. We have the hot temperature is 800 Kelvin. Let's just plug that in. And for S3 minus S2, so we're not specifically given S3 minus S2 or either one in specific. But we do have S1 minus S4 equal to negative 25. And while we don't know what 1 and 4 are specifically, you can make note of the fact that S3 is equal to S4 and S2 equals S1. So because those are equal and we're just going in the opposite direction here, we're just going to have the S3 minus S2 equals positive 25. So we'll have a positive times a positive 25, and that's going to be kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. If you multiply kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin by Kelvin, you're going to have kilojoules per kilogram. So I guess I just forgot to multiply here by the mass. So if you multiply this by M, we're going to have 0 0.1 kilograms, and now we're just gonna have kilojoules. So if you plug this into your calculator, you'll have that Q hot equals 2000 kilojoules. Now, likewise, we can do the same thing for QC. So for QC, we're gonna have that TC times S1 minus S4 times M. And we can just plug in our values here. So what we have that TC was equal to 400 Kelvin. And then S1 minus S4 is straight up given as negative 25. And that is kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And our mass once again is 0 0.1. If you plug this into your calculator, you'll have that QC is equal to negative 1000 kilojoules. So obviously that'd be leaving the system, which makes sense because heat always transfers from hot to cold. So now when we solve for our cycle work or our network, we're now that W net is equal to 
2,000 kilojoules minus, and now there's where you, get kind of, you might get kind of confused. You might think to use subtract by negative 1,000 or just by 1,000. Technically, the network is supposed to be the addition of all heat transfers, the summation of heat transfers. Um, if, you're, if you choose to do that, then you can leave it, um, the QC as a negative number. But because I chose to distinguish in my initial Wnet formula that QC is going to be subtracted, I made note that it's going to be a negative number. So I'm just going to subtract 1,000. 1,000 kilojoules. And you're going to have your network is equal to 1,000 kilojoules. Now, it's pretty easy to find the thermal efficiency. So the thermal efficiency is just going to be the cycle work. I keep saying cycle, but writing net is really the same thing. Divided by QH, or Q hot, which is just going to be 1,000 kilojoules divided by QH was 2,000 kilojoules. And that would yield you with 0 0.5 or a thermal efficiency of 50%.